Joining us now, Congresswoman Ashley Hinson represents Iowa's 2nd Congressional District. That is the northeast quarter of the state, including Cedar Rapids and Waterloo. So, Congresswoman, welcome, and thank you very much for coming on. We see you've made it to your destination here, but talk to us about weather and whether you think it will impact turnout today. Yes, well, Iowans are certainly excited to fire Joe Biden, and that starts today here, uh, tonight at 7 o'clock. And I will say this, that while this has been an epic few days of weather, Iowans are hardy people. They won't go out if it's unsafe, obviously, but I think most people are getting their roads plowed, they're getting dug out, they're calling their friends and neighbors, getting rides if they need to, to make sure that they can get to their caucus sites safely tonight. But I can tell you this, the enthusiasm on the ground is so strong, and Iowans take this uh, first-in-the-nation caucus process very seriously and want to show up. Up tonight. I want to ask you about that uh, if we can. The, in terms of what you see in Iowa in the ground game, we've seen a lot of stumping from, from the four Republican, the top four Republican candidates uh, in your state of Iowa, uh, Congresswoman. Can you talk to us about that? There's been reporting that Trump has uh, twice as many precinct captains as required. Um, obviously, you know the state well. Can you talk to us about that and, and what that means to, to visit each, co each 99 counties to get out and talk to caucus goers, potential caucus goers, one by one like that? Yeah. Well, it is such a unique process. And I think the, the great thing about Iowa going first in the nation is that uh, you really get a sense for the authenticity. You get the accessibility and the transparency from all of these presidential candidates. Uh, what the Iowa process means is that you can be having a beer with a candidate in your basement. You can be hanging out with them, eating a, you know fried food on a stick at the Iowa State Fair. Um, and you can do all that and ask those really tough questions of these candidates. So um, the vetting process, I think, is so unique because anybody can come here. And if they have the right vision and they're a strong candidate, they can be launched into the presidency. So I'm working hard to make the case that Iowa still deserves to be first in the nation. Um, there is certainly a lot of enthusiasm for President Trump. Uh, I know Ron DeSantis has done the 99 county tour. I'll be with him later today. I was at President Trump's rally in Indianola yesterday and I was with Nikki Haley on Saturday. So certainly making the rounds to uh, hear these candidates closing pitches to Iowans. Yes, they're very busy and we know some events had to be canceled, but Otherwise, they're still making the journey around the state. The final Des Moines Register poll, though, was released this weekend. It shows the former president, Donald Trump, in the lead, considered the gold standard for polling in Iowa caucus. But it's not 100 percent accurate. In 2016, the poll showed former president Donald Trump with the lead over Cruz, 28 to 23. But on caucus night, Cruz ended up being the ultimate winner. So, Congresswoman, can we trust the findings of the most recent Des Moines uh, Register poll? Well, uh, let's put it this way. I'm not a pundit for a reason. I am a member of Congress for a reason. And I go out and I earn every vote. And I think these candidates are doing the same thing. But I can tell you this, that, again, the excitement on the ground for firing Joe Biden. I heard you uh, say the numbers about his approval rating. That poll, I certainly believe that he's in the low 30s and maybe even lower here in Iowa. He's failing our country, whether it's the border policy, energy policy, Bidenomics policy that's making life more expensive and harder for every Iowan and every American. That's what Iowans are united in. And no matter who the Republican nominee is, um, we're excited to make sure that we no longer have President Joe Biden and Vice President Harris. All right, we'll leave it there. Congresswoman Ashley Hansen joining us this morning with your thoughts. Thank you so much. We appreciate your time. Thank you. Thank you.